Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Monday, October 11th. Today the Universal Church celebrates the feast day of St. John the 23rd. He served as Pope from October 28, 1958 until his death on June 3, 1963 at the age of 81. Though many things could be said about the saint who served the church in so many ways throughout his life as a priest, bishop, archbishop, cardinal, and eventually as pope. But I do want to provide just a few highlights. One is is that he had an incredible sense of humor and a quick wit. One time he was asked by a reporter, how many people work in the Vatican Holy Father? And he responded immediately, only about half of them. So his quick wit and his humor helped him throughout his pontificate and also his ministry because he had difficult jobs. Remember that he was a diplomat. So during World War II, he worked to protect the Jewish people and worked to resolve conflicts throughout the world in his role as a papal nuncio. And furthermore, he had to many times deal with the effects of war. So he worked constantly to provide charity to those in need. And then as Pope, he felt called to bring reforms into the church. So he started the Second Vatican Council. And truly because of his entire life and his example of following Jesus Christ and being a good shepherd to the church, he's universally known as Good Pope John. So today's first reading for the Daily Mass in honor of St. John the 23rd comes to us from the 34th chapter of the book of the prophet Ezekiel. It reads, Thus says the Lord God, I myself look after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so I will tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they are scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I will lead them out from among the peoples and gather them from the foreign lands. I will bring them back to their own country and pasture them upon the mountains of Israel in the lands, ravines, and all of its inhabited places. In good pastures will I pasture them, and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing ground. They shall lie down on good grazing ground, and in rich pastures shall they be pastured on the mountains of Israel. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord. The lost I will seek out, the stray I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal, but, in the, but the sleek and strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. These words of the prophet Ezekiel describe St. John very well. But these words of the prophet are also supposed to be words that describe each of us in our own lives. Because we too are called to imitate Jesus Christ, who came to help, support, and encourage those who are lost in this world. And if we're honest, there's times where we seem to be the ones who are lost, and we need to be found again by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But we should never forget that we're also called to serve others. That actually in the forefront of our minds, we should always be seeking opportunities to love our neighbor, to help our neighbor, to provide encouragement to our neighbor, and make sure that they know about the good news of Jesus Christ. So therefore, we should never underestimate simple acts of kindness, encouragement, and help, because these things can make all the difference in the world to those who are struggling, especially anyone who is struggling in the faith. And yes, there will be a few of us who will be called by God to do extraordinary things in service of the church, maybe even to the level of good St. John. But for the rest of us, each and every day is an opportunity to imitate Jesus Christ and to bring his light to this world that desperately needs it. So again, we may struggle, 
We may be lost at times. But as Christ comes to us, to shepherd us, to help us, to guide us, we are called to do the same in the lives of others, beginning in small ways. And yes, even a few of us may be called into much bigger ways so that we can help and support the church and the world. St. John the 23rd and Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Thank you.